Well, Neil, it's Emirates FA Cup second round this weekend. How much are you looking forward to this game? Yeah, really looking forward to it. It gives us, you know, gives us a chance to bounce back from Tuesday's disappointment. Um, we had a good result and good performance in the first round. Uh, we know that this is going to be equally uh, as tough, if not harder, than it was in the first round. Um, but our aim is to progress as far as we can in this competition, and we want to be in the third round draw come Monday night. You touch on Tuesday night there. Is it a case of channeling those frustrations in the right manner on the field now? It's, it's a case of learning from um, that defeat and what we could do to prevent that um, from happening. Um, for long periods in the game, I thought we were excellent, um, particularly first half. Even in the second half, um, after the first 15 minutes, I still thought we're, we were the more likely team to score and win the game. Um, and our response to going 3-2 down was excellent as well. It was just a, a little period of the game where we could have done better in and we have to learn from that and we have to make sure that we're playing you know for 90 minutes fully concentrated um, and managing different periods of the game better than what we did Tuesday night and we're going to have to do that on Saturday because Harrogate brings certain things to the to the game that if you're not uh, prepared for and you don't compete with them and cope with what uh, their strengths are then they make it very difficult for you. Yeah, the opposition have had quite a journey in, in recent years and got quite a bit of momentum behind them. Yeah, they have. Um, you know, Simon's been there now for a number of years and um, the club and team has steadily improved and that's great credit to the, obviously the work that they've been doing. Um, the team's improved and it's improved for a reason um, and they've obviously got out of the National League with promotion and they're quitting themselves really well in, um, in the Football League this year. So we know Harrogate at home Playing on their home pitch is a difficult game and um, we have to be ready for what they bring and if we're not then they, they're, they're more than capable of giving you a really tough test. And as always that incentive's there in the third round to go and play Premier League opposition? Yeah that's what we want, that's what everyone wants. We, we know Harrogate will want that as well um, uh, but you know we've got history in this competition, it's an important competition for us. Um, it gives us a chance to bounce back from Tuesday and our aim is to be in that draw on, on for, uh, Monday night for the third round. Um, hopefully we get that excitement of um, maybe possibly getting one of the big teams but if we don't do our job properly on Saturday um, then that won't be the case. So we're focused on the game, we'll prepare and come 3 o'clock Saturday we'll be ready. Are you closer to having any more selection dilemmas? Um, well, well, we had no injury problems after the game on Tuesday. Um, Luke Garbert and Matty Virtue have been returning to training. Luke Garbert's a little bit in, in front of Matty at the moment, uh, just because of the length of the length of time that both of those players have been out. Um, so Luke will probably come into our thought process for the game on Saturday. Um, Matty probably won't. Um, and we have to give some thought to the team. Um, after Tuesday night as well and obviously we're in a busy period of games um, so we shall look at who we think is the freshest and the, the most readiest to go and play and get, a, get us a good result on Saturday. And just generally disappointment that we can't welcome fans back into this area to watch matches and it's a case of trying yeah. to please them as best we can from home for this moment in time. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah you know we, we had that news last week which um, straight away gave everyone a a lift I think you know the, we were as a staff straight away like looking at the fixture list and trying to work out which fixture that the supporters might be able to come back and watch us play and share share Bloomfield role with us again uh, and then just to get that that news this morning is obviously disappointing um, disappointing for everybody but we have to be patient after you know the, the health and safety and the well-being of our supporters is is paramount as it, as it is across the country at the moment so um, we have to be patient, um, but the sooner that our supporters can return to the ground, the better it is for everyone. We're, we're, you know, we're well aware of um, they, they can't be with us in physical presence at the moment, but we know that they're still with us and supporting us all the way. And um, hopefully, you know, we can give them some happiness and something to shout about on Saturday, and give them something to look forward to Monday night themselves by looking forward to a third round cup draw.